God's mercy is new every morning. Lamentations 3, 19 to 24. Lord, remember my suffering and my misery, my sorrow and trouble. Please remember me and think about me, but I have hope when I think of this. The Lord's love never ends. His mercies never stop. They are new every morning. Lord, your loyalty is great. I say to myself, the Lord is mine, so I hope in him. God will make us new by changing the way we think. Romans 12, 2. Don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. God will answer our cries for help. Psalm 40, 1 to 3. I waited patiently for the Lord to help me, and he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. God will give us a new heart with new desires. Ezekiel 36, 26 to 27. And I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit in you. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and give you a tender, responsive heart. And I will put my spirit in you so that you will follow my decrees and be careful to obey my regulations. God gave people fresh starts in the Bible all the time. He changed them so much that he gave them new names. Genesis 17, 15 to 16. God said to Abraham, I will give Sarai, your wife, a new name. Her new name will be Sarah. I will bless her, I will give her a son, and you will be the father. She will be the mother of many new nations. Kings of nations will come from her. God's power gets us up again, not our own. 2 Corinthians 4, 7-8 We have this treasure from God, but we are only like clay jars that hold the treasure. This is to show that the amazing power we have is from God, not from us. We have troubles all around us, but we are not defeated. We often don't know what to do, but we don't give up. God lifts us up when we are humble enough to see our need for Him. James 4, 10. Humble yourselves before the Lord and He will lift you up in honor. God will give us strength to keep going. Isaiah 40, 29 to 31. He gives strength to the weary and to him who has no might, he increases power. Even youths grow weary and tired, and vigorous young men stumble badly. But those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in him, will gain new strength and renew their power. They will lift up their wings and rise up close to God, like eagles rising towards the sun. They will run and not become weary, they will walk and not grow tired. God knows that we will fall, but it's not fatal. Proverbs 24, 16. Even if godly people fall down seven times, they always get up. But those who are evil trip and fall when trouble comes. God's forgiveness gives us a fresh start. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and 19. Anyone who belongs to Christ is a new person. The past is forgotten and everything is new. 
What we mean is that God was in Christ, offering peace and forgiveness to the people of this world, and He has given us the work of sharing His message about peace. When we need a fresh start, the most important thing we can do is stay close to God. He has the power to give us a new heart, a new way of thinking, and new strength to move forward. As we close, take a minute to think about an area of your life where you need God's help to start again and move forward. Ask Him for help today, and you won't be disappointed as you wait for His answer. Thanks for watching this scripture playlist video from Deep Spirituality. Make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment letting us know what you think, subscribe to our channel, and visit deepspirituality.com for even more spiritual tools to help you in your walk with God.